My name is Tessa Muggeridge, and today's video will show you how to use Google beyond its basic search function to do advanced queries and find data. You probably use Google every day to search the web, but do you know everything Google can do? It can answer some basic questions, like what time is it in Hong Kong, look up stock prices, and do conversions in math. But that's just the beginning. Let me show you some of Google's more impressive hidden powers. Google has a bank of advanced search operators, terms that are used to help narrow or broaden a search that can help make your search more specific. One such operator allows you to search within one specific website only. Do this by adding site, colon, and the URL to the beginning of your search without a space. For example, searching site, colon, nytimes.com debt crisis would turn up results about the debt crisis only from nytimes.com. Remember not to put a space after site, colon, and don't add www or http colon slash slash. For many websites, using Google to search within them can turn up better results than using the site's own search function. You can also use an operator to narrow your search by specifying what type of file you'd like Google to find, like spreadsheet files, PDFs, or CSVs. You can do this by adding file type colon and then the type of file before your search. Google can index most file types, and here's a full list of its most common types. Searching for file type colon PDF with no spaces, Saturn car sales, turns up only PDF results, while file type colon XLS Coca-Cola turns up only Excel spreadsheets. Google can search with as many different operators as you want. If you want to search for a specific file type within a specific website, use both of the search functions we just learned. Searching site colon sunlightfoundation.com, file type colon CSV, for example, will bring up all of the CSV files on the Sunlight Foundation website. You can do searches like all the ones we just learned and many others by clicking to Google's advanced search page and filling in your terms there. But it's a lot easier to know these operators so you can enter them right in the regular search bar. Google's normal search algorithm or formula uses the Boolean AND operator, which I'll explain in a minute. Boolean operators change how a search term is included. By using Boolean operators in a search, Google comes up with results that better match your search term. Google's normal algorithm is the AND operator, but you can often turn up better results if you use its OR or NOT operator instead. Google's standard AND operator means that when you search Coffee Shop Pennsylvania Avenue 3rd Street, Google is searching Coffee AND Shop AND Pennsylvania AND Avenue AND 3rd AND Street. That search will turn up results that have Coffee Shop Pennsylvania Avenue AND 3rd Street all on the same page. But if you're just looking for a coffee shop that's around that area, maybe on Pennsylvania Avenue or 3rd Street, you might want to try the OR operator instead. If you search Coffee Shop Pennsylvania Avenue or 3rd Street, now Google will display results that show a coffee shop in either Pennsylvania Avenue or 3rd Street on the same page, making it more likely that you'll find a good spot to grab a cup of joe. You can also use a pipe instead of OR. Sometimes Google searches turn up results you're not interested in, like if you search for Saturn and you find sites about the car when you meant the planet. You can prevent this by using the NOT operator. The NOT operator is used the same way as OR, and its symbol is a minus sign. Let's go back to Saturn. If you want to turn up pages about the planet, but not Saturn the Roman god, or Saturn the car, search like this, Saturn minus car minus god. Google knows that some words contain hyphens, and it won't read those as minus signs. You can use an asterisk or wildcard to ask Google to fill in a blank in a search. Google treats the asterisk as a placeholder and finds a web result that fills in the unknown with the best result. Let's try it. Coca-Cola was invented by asterisk. That search brings up a variety of results and you can find a credible source. You can also use a wildcard for truncation, which will expand your search to include all forms of the root word. If you search for teen asterisk, Google will also turn up results for teen, teens, teenager, teenage, or teenagers. Use a tilde to search for similar words. So a search for tilde, tips for backpacking through Europe, would also find results for guide, help, and tutorial. On top of limiting your searches in the ways we just went through, Google can also do a lot more than you think when it comes to answering basic questions and doing math. What's the weather like today? How many ounces are in a quart? It's not necessary to phrase the searches as questions, but sometimes that comes naturally. Some basic search terms trigger Google's databank, like time, sunset, 
or stock. See this page for a full list of Google search terms and tools. For more tips on advanced Google searches, check out Google's Tips for Advanced Searches page here. That concludes this video. Thanks for joining me. Look for more tutorials soon at sunlightfoundation.com.